Hey, what's up guys? It's Henry Yo. Welcome to 2019 and this is my first video for the year and my second look at the Techno Cam 11 Pro which is arguably Techno's best built device up till date. No other device from Techno's line of smartphones compare to this device. I'll be giving you what my experience has been using this device, um, what are the pros, what are the cons, and um, overall how I feel about using the Techno Cam 11 Pro. If this is the first time you've come into my channel, please be awesome and smash the subscribe button and also hit the notification bell icon so you're notified when I put up new videos. Let's get started. into three parts the pros of this device the cons and then the pricing in relation to what you're getting on the Techno Cam 11 Pro so for the pros the first thing I'll be talking about is the build quality and the design language this phone is absolutely stunning it looks really very good it's one of those phones you wouldn't believe is a measuring phone and from a brand maker like Techno it's absolutely gorgeous it follows a phone design language that you guys out there know very well it's really clean and I love the way they've done the back um, design of the phone it has this gradient feel to it and it's absolutely stunning I mean the build quality is a 10 over 10 for me for the Techno Common 11 Pro I'm gonna talk about performance performance on this device is decent now I'm disappointed that Techno is not going for um, processors like the Snapdragon 625 which would have been a very huge win for them concerning the Techno Cam 11 Pro but they went for a MediaTek 6765 processor which in my opinion isn't the best of processors out there it performs decently don't get me wrong but it's not the best processor you can get out there for a mid-range smartphone the screen on this phone has very good color calibrations I mean I love watching videos on this phone it looked really good albeit a 720p display but color calibrations were really very good on this device viewing angles as well were really very good on the device and the last thing I'll be talking about in the pros is the fact that it's got a one day battery this phone comes with 3750 milliamp hour battery paired with the 720p screen offers you really great performance when it comes to battery life so one of the first things I disliked about the Techno Cam 11 Pro is the software. Again, Techno software is okay, but if you're making a smartphone, I believe every part works together like a machine. So the software should work seamlessly with the hardware design to give the user the best experience possible that they can get out of their device. The software in here was not finished properly to blend with the design of the Techno Cam 11 Pro, especially with the notch. Apps top bar don't flush with the notch and it's really annoying to me. Call it OCD all you want. That's one of the things I think Techno should work on. The second thing I've noticed is a bug with clearing apps in memory. So I've got all these apps in memory and every time I hit the clear button and I hit the recent apps again, they come back. I believe Techno can solve this using software and please Techno, it will be good if you do that real fast. The third thing that is a con for me, which may not be for some other people who are not nitpicking, is the fact that this phone comes with a 720p screen. Now the previous Techno Camera X Pro, which was a generation before the Techno Camera 11 Pro, came with a 1080p and then we have the 11 Pro coming with the 720p. I, for the life of me, I can't understand why Techno went with this direction. Why would they put a 720p on a really good looking device that goes for 76,000 Naira? It's like you're regressing instead of progressing. So the fourth thing I didn't like about this phone was the fact that it didn't come with any fast charging. So this phone does not come with fast charging. It will take you approximately two and a half hours to go from zero to 100%, which is quite painful considering the time period we live in. We have fast charging everything. So Techno in your future, Come on 12 Pro, please include fast charging. So the final thing I'd like to talk about that I do not like with the Techno Cam 11 Pro is the processor. It comes with a MediaTek 6765 processor, which in my opinion is killing this device from being liked by everyone out there. Now, if you use like a Snapdragon 625, 
that would have been a much better option. I know it would slightly raise the price, but people would have been willing to pay more to get a Snapdragon 625 processor in this kind of phone than for you using the MediaTek processor. The MediaTek processor are not bad, it's just that they're not really very efficient with handling multitasking and handling memory management, as you will see in a future video. Okay, so one final thing I'd like to talk about is the price of the Techno Camera 11 Pro. It comes in at 76,000 Naira, which in my opinion, again, is quite high for what you're getting on this device. Now, comparing this device to the Huawei Y9 2019, you're getting a phone with a 1080p screen, 4,000 milliampere battery, and a Korean 710 processor, which is by far powerful than what you have in the um, Techno Camera 11 Pro. Again, pricing techno i mean you should get to that point where you're able to merge functionality and cost efficiency so that people are very happy with what you're getting not to say that this is a bad phone it's not a bad phone in any way it's absolutely a beautiful phone and it performs really well but for what people are actually getting the price is a bit too steep all right guys so that was it that was uh, my second look at the techno camera 11 Oh, do I think the pricing is good for what you're getting? Um, maybe not. I feel like it should have been a bit lower. And I feel like Techno should have put in a 1080p screen in here. If they had put in a 1080p screen, then that price may have been justified. But for what you're getting, a 720p screen and also the processor you're getting in here, I feel like the price point should have been a bit lower. But that being said, it's all it's a good device. It works pretty well and it looks absolutely gorgeous this is one of the most beautiful phones from last year thanks guys for watching this one please subscribe to the channel if you have not yet subscribed and um, if you have any questions please leave them in the comment section down below and i will see you in my next video peace